In this Lucky CCG tutorial, I'll show you how to create, save, edit, and load a deck. I'll also show you how to open packs and make a deck from a finite card pool and load a randomly generated deck. The deck editor is located in the deck editor panel. And here you'll see four sections of the deck editor. The top left is the card image picture viewer. Below that is a set of search filters that you can use to help you find the right card. And the right half of the deck editor, on the top there is the deck list, and on the bottom you'll see options for either all cards, your complete card library, or a subset of that, which would be a finite card pool. And that's where you make packs appear or uh, generate a randomly created deck, which I'll show you in a minute. In the deck editor, there are buttons to create a new deck, browse if for a previously created deck, and there's even a paste button to import a deck from the web or another source. There's two ways to use the paste button. You can either copy a URL to a deck file that was put online, or you can uh, go to some website or uh, deck list, copy the entire deck, and then once it's in your clipboard, click paste and it should import it. Also in the deck list section, your plugin may show one or more tabs if your deck is divided into different sections before the game starts, such as a sideboard or a starting section. You can toggle between which section you're editing by clicking on the corresponding tab here. Below the deck list are some buttons that allow you to increment and decrement the number of the selected card, as well as a button that allows you to combine all uh, reprints. If you have a number of cards that have the same name, this one will allow this uh, checkbox box allows you to consolidate those. Uh, you can also have the option of viewing the cards in a tiled manner, which looks rather like this. While viewing cards tiled, you can scroll in, or on the iPad you can pinch to zoom in. Uh, this is only three cards, but if you have a bunch of cards, uh, you can quickly add a bunch of cards, so you can see what that looks like. And you can hit the escape button to uh, get out of that. While your mouse over the area, the spacebar quickly pops it up, which is the same thing as the uh, view tile button. Also at the bottom of the decklist area is a button that allows you to copy the cards in the decklist to your clipboard, and that allows you to paste the decklist easily to a, a deck file or a website or a, an email. For example, that's what it looks like, because that's what this deck looks like. In and that just uh, outputs to text. Uh, there's also options to save the deck and make sure you give it a name when you're saving it. And this one, test, save. And you'll see it appears under the uh, recent decks. And if you want to browse, you'll see it appears right there. That's the deck I just made. Uh, there's also options to load the deck here. Different games let you load decks in different ways. The uh, most basic way is to have all of the deck zones automatically loaded to where the plugin thinks they should go, and in most cases you'll just want to click load entire deck to you. And if you take a look here, you'll see uh, the deck is populated with the cards and it's automatically shuffled. But uh, some games want you to load specific cards to specific zones. Um, for example, if your plugin had uh, a communal zone, like uh, a poker, where, where everyone shares the same cards, you can see more options for loading things by clicking the uh, plus button. So you can load uh, things to a specific zone, or you can load it to a specific shared zone, and those are the more advanced options that you see by clicking the plus button. Below the card list section is the card library section. The first 
panel is a list of all the cards in the game. Uh, there are several different ways you can use filters on these cards. You can do a quick uh, search for the name. You can type in like that. Uh, you can use a format filter if your set has it. Uh, this allows plugin makers to define different sets of cards as a way of uh, doing a filter. If you don't see any cards listed here, uh, it may be because you're using a format filter that restricts what you see there. Uh, they always have uh, an option for any, and that simply lists all of the cards without filters. Uh, there are specific filters you can add. For example, you can filter by set, by name, uh, by different, uh, all of these different criteria by rarity, whatever your, uh, your login has. At the bottom of this uh, library of all cards, you'll notice when a card is selected, just like in the deck list, you can uh, increment or decrement the number of the selected cards. For example, this uh, tough cat, if I want to add one of those to my deck, clicking this button adds them. You can see it over here, it's being added. If I want to load 10 at a time, click this button to do so, or you can use this button to remove all of them. Uh, the ignore doubles allows you to uh, show multiple instances of cards with the same name or not. Uh, and again, there's a view tile button here that allows you to uh, quickly uh, view the different images. And you can just hit uh, spacebar to pop that up or the escape key to uh, make it go away. There's a couple different ways to add cards from the card library to your deck. You can drag them and while you're dragging them, you can use the right and left arrow keys to increment and decrement the number you're dragging. You can double click the card. You can use the buttons as I mentioned before. In the card pool panel, uh, this is a finite card pool that allows you to make decks based on a limited number of cards. Some people input their personal collections here, and that allows them to only make decks from cards that they physically have. Uh, another option is to uh, open packs, and to open a pack, uh, you can add cards to your card pool. First, if there's cards in there, you can make a new card pool that clears it. Uh, you can open a previously saved card pool or browse. Uh, you can paste just like you could paste the deck list, you can paste a saved card pool or a card pool URL. But to add a pack or a random deck, you click this button. In this sample plugin, you'll see uh, there's an example of a pack. And you can choose to view it or send it directly to your one of your zones, like your hand. But in this case, I'll just uh, choose and that will uh, add it to my card pool here. The pack contents are defined by the plugin creator. And if you take a look at it, that is an example pack. Another thing you can have is a randomly generated deck, which some plugins use. Uh, that generates a random deck based on criteria that the plugin maker decides on. And it's a fun way to play if your game plugin supports that. But uh, another thing you can do, you can open multiple packs at a time. For example, this random pack, if I want to add six packs at once, I can do that. And I can use choose, or but in this case, I'll do choose and view. And that opens and generates the packs, but it immediately shows you what the contents of them are. And here is the entire deck list of those six packs. and. There's a couple ways you can add them to a new decklist. First, I'll clear my previous decklist. And you can add them just like you did before with the deck library. You can drag them. You can use the buttons to increment and decrement. Another way you can do it is to simply add all the cards to your decklist and then remove the ones you don't want. And remember, while you're removing cards, the left and right arrow keys uh, increment and decrement the number you're moving. If you ever add more cards than your card pool allows, the Verify Deck button becomes red. Uh, if you'll notice, my deck list 
here it says 12 Kaiser Soze. Kaiser, get it because of the bread. Uh, and I only have six allowed, so this button is red. Uh, so if I click this, it stops being red and it removes the cards that I don't have access to in my finite card pool. And once you're done, you can uh, save your card pool if you want to use it for later. And before you start playing a game, make sure you save your deck. Test card pool. So you can have access to the both your card pool is saved and your deck list is saved. And then you're all set to start playing. Just hit load entire deck to you, and the deck is loaded. You're all set to start drawing cards and start playing.